Welcome, everybody, to another episode of the Thinking Project Podcast, where we interview founders and creatives to help you take the next step in your business by listening to inspired stories of these wonderful founders. I hope you enjoy this podcast and make sure to share it with your friends. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for joining me, Susanna. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for your time, Dalton. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I'm I'm excited to do this. Um, I I know that you're um, a best-selling author. You're also um, a book uh, a book coach, right? Is that a yes, book like right. a writing coach, right, or like a publishing coach? Yes, I'm a book writing coach. So I help okay. uh, people write and publish their books. But when I say people, mainly I help entrepreneurs to write a book about their expertise so that so they can stand out in you know in the marketplace that is so yeah. crowded nowadays so yeah 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 you know and this is always something that's really fascinating to me it's one of the reasons that I started my podcast and I have awesome entrepreneurs and founders on like you is because there's a lot of people who really need that kind of that that thing that sets them apart right and so what got you into uh, writing, what got you into coaching? Like how, how did that whole story, uh, play out? Sure, sure. Um, so let me start from the beginning. I'm from Uruguay. I have an accent. So yeah. people are gonna be like, <laughs> and, uh, when I came here, I spoke English like a three-year-old. So it was very, <laughs> very <laughs> rudimentary. Is that the word? Or I'm yeah, just- yeah. 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 Okay. And then, so I worked, you know, I had to work. I had a young kids, you know, I was married at that time. So I had to, you know, support the household and, you know, work in many jobs to, to make ends meet, right? Mm-hmm. But not definitely my dream job. Before coming to America, I was, I, I had a, a home-based business and I was doing graphic design. Mm-hmm. Um, so I kind of liked the whole, you know, graphic world and the words and, but you know when you need to start from zero when you get here so (laughs) So that's what i did and then um my son developed my middle son he developed type 1 diabetes is uh the one that is um insulin dependent when he was Mm -hmm. 11 and i was like okay i need a job that is not nine to five i need something that has, has more flexibility because he needed doctor's appointments and if he had a bad day, you know, he need more attention and whatnot. So I opened up a, um, a cleaning business because I was like, well, I need something that I'm gonna be able to grow fast and it's gonna be able to provide. At that time I was already divorced and I had three kids. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna do what I need to do. You know, we all do what yeah. we need to do. Right, right, right. Support. Wow, that's an amazing, yeah, that's, wow, that's intense. <laughs> <laughs> that opens a whole can of worms right there. <laughs> yeah, and, you know, we're all... So, and then um, while I was doing that, I had one client of mine that she worked from home before working from home was a thing. And she will travel across the country to conferences and different things, seminars. I think I was like, wow. Yeah. I want to do that. And, <laughs> and I was like, well, what do you do? And then, and she's like, oh, I'm a book, uh, I'm a book coach. And I was like, what is that? And she says, I help people write and publish their books. And I was like, what? <laughs> That's a career? Because we're all thinking about the big companies and like big printing companies and the mm-hmm. publishing agents and, and, you know, all this world that is unreachable, you know? Yeah. And, uh, and then I have somebody who was a regular person you know she's great she's fantastic but she was a regular person who had that job and I was like wow that's amazing and then she's like maybe you can even write a book and I was like what am I gonna write about and she (sighs) says you can definitely write about how to create and uh, how to start a cleaning business you know and teach other people to to do that and I was like well I can write that on my sleep you know because (laughs) I've done my work and my research about even for branding and without even having training on that, because that's what I feel like. So I, so this is what I did. I, with her help, I wrote and published my first book and it's, um, it's a how to start a cleaning business and make money within a week. And then um, I published the book and I was like, Oh, wow. I have a published book. It's my name in the front. It has my picture (laughs) in the back. But then I was like, well, how can I make that my living 
you know, I'm all my, you know, my career and how can I make a living, you know, doing that. But I was still, you know, with kids in the house and bills to pay. And so I couldn't just jump on that because, you know, it, it, all, it all takes time. Yeah. So that, that was 2017. Then 2020 happened. And, you know, it's like everything that we know just was upside down. And I was like, well, if I want to live my dreams, you have to be now because the world is going to end. You know, so <laughs> I better just me do it now. <laughs> and that's what right, I did right. in 2020. I um, I hired a book coach, another book coach, to write my first um, best-selling book, and which I published in 2021. Then I um, I hired um, a business coach to help me launch the business, and that's what I've been doing since uh, 2021. So a, a little bit more than a year, I've been um, helping other people write and publish their books and become bestsellers. So I help two people to kind of people, but mainly entrepreneurs, but I also help um, memoirs. If people want to write a memoir, mm. but also the memoir has a how-to aspect into it because it's not just overcoming the challenges, it's how this person overcame their challenges. And most of the times that ends up in their career. Mm. They're healers of any, you know, different kinds or homeopathy or, um, uh, you know different kinds energy healing depending on what kind of healing works for them you know mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. that's what they talk about in their books but wow. mostly, uh, for entrepreneurs how to for example if i am um, let's say a lender how to fix my credit and buy my first house okay <laughs> so this book will teach you from a to c how to do it right yeah. and when you i mean it's going to have the meat and potatoes it's it's not just a, a book for marketing purposes. It has the, the results yeah. in there. So you can either do it yourself or contact the author that you already trust and like the person and you know this person is an expert in what they wrote because, hey, they published a book <laughs> and they became a bestseller. So yeah, yeah, you yeah, yeah. to, you know, to achieve that what you need. Because we all, I don't know about you, but for example, I don't look that I don't like to do my bookkeeping. I don't do my taxes. I hire people <laughs> that they have the knowledge and the passion and the training for that. So yes, yes, yes. even though we have all the information, we don't want to learn all other things. We want to hire people to do that for us. So mm -hmm. that's what I do. I help people write and publish books. Yeah, there you go. Sorry, that was and a I... short long story. <laughs> No, that was perfect. I love it because I like, you know, I like how that kind of came about, right? Like what, uh, you know, and I guess this is part of, this is a big part of your story. You brought it up, but like, what made you want to come to the United States? Well, um, there's, I personally think that there's only two reasons to come to Utah because we yeah. live in Utah. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. either enjoy the snow and, you know, do snow sports or you are LDS, you're a member of the LDS church. Yeah. I hate snow. <laughs> and I used to be an active member of the LDS church. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay. So that's and, kind of what, like how you, yeah, that's the Utah. Yeah. That was that's brought the... me to Utah. Okay. And, you know, having a family, kids, you know, I ended up, you know, raising kids here and, mm -hmm. you know, that's cool. Now I'm though. Thinking, should I leave? Should I stay? Should I, you know, <laughs> you got more options now, right? Well, I only have one left in the house, but oh, children. You. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Okay. So like, I don't know. <laughs> well, that's then incredible. they're gonna start having kids, and then I'm gonna be like, I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 It, it's weird how that does how that does that to you, right? You just yes. you think it's only gonna be. I mean, doesn't life do that, right? You think it's gonna be a short amount of time. It ends up not being like that. And, <laughs> and now, you know, we're here. Like, that's what my wife and I did, right? We, we moved here and it was like, you know, this is going to be temporary as soon as we are, as soon as we can go back. Cause like, we're from the Midwest, right? Like as soon as, oh, you can okay. go, yeah, as soon as we can go back to the Midwest, Iowa, Illinois, like we will. And, uh, quickly realized that like, no, it's probably not it. <laughs> like, like we'll just stay here. So, so I think. So you came together if I may ask uh no so my wife got to utah first and then um she, and then since she was here i was like well i'll come out there 
you know, and, and it was great. Like I wanted to be with her and, mm-hmm. and, yeah. uh, and, that, and that worked out very well and it was great. So, but, but, you know, it's just that kind of journey, like life just opens up doors, like for right. you, right? Like, I th- oh, well, I have a life now here. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, and you know, the part of your story that I really love and that really resonates with people who are wanting to start a business is this idea that, um, all of the opportunities that we have in life, you know, we just, we don't know where they'll lead us. Right. So, you know, um, your son getting that diagnosis start made you start the cleaning business, made you find this lady and write a book made you who you are today and very successful, you know, book publishing coach. And it's just crazy how that, that feels, but in the moment, you know, when you were first faced with that challenge, like what was going through your head and what, and what kind of, uh, you know, story were you telling yourself or maybe processes that you were trying to grasp? So when I published my first book, it was a great achievement for me mm-hmm. personally. It didn't, it, it wasn't a bestseller because at that time I didn't have the funds to, you know, pay the coach to train me for that part of the process. But just the idea that I published a book that has my name on it and I was sharing the knowledge and I had people emailing me back after buying my book saying, oh, thank you for this. Thank you for that. And, and I'm starting my business here. And there are people from all over the States, you know, and it was, it was great. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, so I had the balance, I have to balance that. Yes, I wanted to write more books and, or, or I, and I maybe possibly wanted to help other people write books. But on the, the other hand, it's like, well, this is not the right time because I still have to provide for my kids. Mm. you know um mm-hmm. i mean you're a married man but you know <laughs> yeah. being divorced you're like child support is not what people think it is you know you yeah, still have to provide sure. for kids and pay for schooling and, and everything and so i had to make sure that i take care of that first and sometimes as, a, as adults we put our dreams in the back burner because you know we yeah. have responsibilities yeah. and um, and even though you know i'm not in my 30s you know, I'm not in my 20s, but guess what? I want to do it. I'm good at it and I'm going to do it. You know? Yeah, yeah. No, that's a one. That's that's great. And, you know, like the point of and I've said this a lot, but, you know, the point of this podcast is to like help people like those budding entrepreneurs, those people who want to start like just start because that's the hardest part of of and, and that's my experience. So I'm curious for you, like what was the mm-hmm. hardest part about taking the step and, and starting your journey? Well, I started, uh, I started this while I was working full time. Mm-hmm. So I, um, again, 2020, I was working from home. So it was more flexible to me to, you know, start yeah. this because I didn't have a two hour commute anymore. I was working from oh, home. Oh, wow. Yeah. Two hour commute before you start. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> that's crazy. Wow, so the crazy. order an hour and a half, you know, that chunk mm-hmm. of my time was added to me so that I can use it more yeah. effectively so I use it to build my business and um, like I said I hired a, um, a business coach and it wasn't it wasn't a good experience but, but that was just my experience I'm not going to sure, say all sure. business coaches are bad <laughs> I just hired somebody that I, I followed her for four years so this is not somebody that I picked out you know mm. and I thought she was great and she probably is but not for me probably it's for mm. somebody else Mm-hmm. Not for my stage of the business that I was very starting. I was yeah, very starting. young. I yeah, no clients. I had, I had to create my. So, anyways, I spent ten thousand dollars on her, you know, and that was a lot of money to me. No, uh, that's a lot of money to anybody. <laughs> you know, Man. and I was like, okay, I'm gonna invest this on my business. I'm gonna do this, but then my work became very demanding. My yeah, nine to five, and I had to be like, can we please? this on hold until I, my schedule is more, I was working six days a week, 10, 12 hour days. So I couldn't, yeah. I couldn't do the coaching and, yeah, the there's no way, yeah. and, and, you know, so she, she told me yes. But then when I, everything went back to normal, she says, Oh, well, I don't pass clients from one year to the next. And I was like, there's only four weeks left to the year. <laughs> she sent me five more videos, YouTube videos that were available for free that she yeah. recorded. And she called it a day. And I was like, what? <laughs> oh, oof. Uh, I beat yeah. myself up so much for that decision. I mean, yeah. so it taught me how not to be. 
<laughs> as a coach. So yeah, when- I mean. I mean, expensive lessons to learn, but I mean, yes. that's a great lesson though. You know what I mean? It's like, this is what you don't do. <laughs> yes. And I, then I, when I have instances with clients that, you know, we had an agreement, we had our scheduled meetings, we had, they, they were, they're supposed to do their homework and whatnot. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And when things happen, I'm very understanding. Yeah. But at, at the same time, I'm, I held them accountable. Okay. I understand that you've got this or you got that, but we need yeah. to you know, you we need to get this done. So, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm firm, but at the same time, I'm understanding. Right, so, right, right, right. But I don't leave anybody hanging like, you know, anybody that says, oh, I paid her and she never did anything for me. And like, that <laughs> never happened. Because I'm like, I will we'll get this stupid thing done. And we'll, do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great. Yeah. I mean, because that is kind of the coaching world, right? Like, um, I, I'm not like, I don't call myself like a coach because sales is one of those things that's not, I mean, like there are like sales coaches, but there's Mm -hmm. a difference between like coaching and training, in my opinion. And I'm more of like a trainer. Like I'll like, I give, because that's just more of like selling. Selling is really like, um, if you don't like, I can tell you everything, but I can't do it for you. Right. And like, you know, and it's almost like I can't even you know, have that direct of an impact unless you actually do something. And I know that business coaches are kind of similar, right? Like if I hire you and I don't do anything, then obviously it's my no, fault. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's Same like, it, for me, it's you know, crazy. You know what I mean? I mean, you have to do the first draft and then from there we'll get the book done. But if yeah. you don't write it, I cannot write it for you. <laughs> you have yeah. the knowledge. Unless right, 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 right. you hire um, a ghostwriter and that's another conversation. Dude, yeah, ghostwriters. I've had a few ghostwriters. <laughs> yeah, I've had a few ghostwriters on this podcast, and they're not a joke. Those guys are, I mean, they're really good at what they do, and right. they are really expensive. <laughs> exactly. So, like I said, yeah, that's yeah. that's another conversation. Sure. But I mean, they do what they do, and you could they need to be paid. Yeah. You yeah, know. Yeah. 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 And I'm, and I have people tell and tell me that my price my prices are high, and I'm like, yeah, they are, because <laughs> I have to pay my people for what they yeah. do yeah i mean yeah. english is my second language so you bet that i have <laughs> editors you bet that i have you know people proofreaders that, that they do everything that i don't do right because right, right. they're experts so they yeah. need to get paid so yeah and you know what i i like that whole idea because a lot of business is like you know and this is the thing that like sometimes people who aren't entrepreneurial minded kind of get you know are frustrated like well you know like Um, you know, you go buy a product and you find out that they sell the same thing on Alibaba or something like that. And you're like, well, I could have just done that. And then, you know, my answer is always like, well, yeah, but you didn't, (laughs) you know what I mean? Like you didn't know, you know what I mean? And so, yeah, part of, part of the experience of an entrepreneur is like realizing that, you know, you're not just paying for somebody's like, you know, you're not paying for the thing you're paying for like how they acquired all of the knowledge. Like I heard one of my friends call it like a dummy tax, right? Like you're kind of, you know, like you don't know how to do it. I do. So I'm going to help you out and get it done. Right. Um, right. But there's a lot of value in that. Like, I, I I think there's a lot of value. I just, you know, it's just when we have like this episode of the podcast is brought to you by Othership. Othership is a meditation and breathwork app that I've been using forever to cool down, to calm down, to energize, to start my day, to end my day and everything in between. They have bite-sized exercises that are accompanied with music to help you and your breath go along with the beat so that it makes meditation and breath work fun and easy. They have minute-long sessions or hour-long sessions, so you can go for as little or as long as you like to fit with your schedule. Breath work, it has changed my life. Othership has changed my life. You guys won't regret this. Robbie Bent was on my podcast before. He's an amazing human being. He's got an amazing team. Go check out this app. The link to everything are in the description below. And I promise it'll be the best thing you've ever done. All right, guys, I want to talk to you about another sponsor of the podcast, Norm Wilkinson, the happy health insurance guy. If you're like me, if you're a 1099 employee, an entrepreneur, it can be really, really difficult to find health insurance. And on top of all of that, who wants to spend their time looking for it? We don't know what it means. We don't know what coverage we need, or we do know what coverage we need, and we don't want to go looking and searching for it. Norm Wilkinson solves all of those problems. He's the happy health insurance guy. He'll get you a free consultation and a quote to get the right plan for your situation to protect you, your family, and ultimately your business. Go check out his website, 
thehappyhealthinsuranceguide.com. Links in the description below. And thank you so much for listening. It'll be the best decision you ever made. You know, when I talk to coaches, like that's the, that's the kind of the, the, the bad rap that coaching gets is like, you know, you get one bad coach or one bad experience and it kind of ruins it for everybody. Like now everybody's cautious. You know what I mean? So how do you, and I mean, I'm sure you've, you've, you've had to navigate that conversation. And so how does that go for you? Like, how do you overcome? So I've had, I, I've had it before with uh, my last, the last client that I signed up, actually Mm -hmm. um, we talk over the phone, but they were not convinced and we met for lunch. And that's actually what had the conversation that we had. He told mm-hmm. me I hired somebody else once to write a book and I paid him this bunch of money. And then he came back and said, oh, now you need to pay me this for something else. And I was like, and he's yeah, like, I don't right. want this to happen again. And I right. told him where <laughs> you came from, but I was like, no, I have, we have a contract that says what you're getting, what you're responsible to do and what I'm going to do for you. Right, yeah. And if I don't do it, as I tell you, I will refund you the money because yeah. there's, I mean, that's my guarantee. And I also have, you know, successful clients that every one of my authors became a best-selling author on their specific field. Yeah. So I so, have, you know, I have my reviews, but I also, right. and I, I totally understand that is something that, and he says, no, I'm not going to pay you up front because this happened. And I was like, I totally understand. So we came to an agreement. <laughs> that I can, we, I, we can start working, yeah. you know, based on this amount. And then when we get to the X, an X yeah. point, I'm going to pay the rest. So that way we're all, you know, respecting yeah, everybody's each happy. Other yeah. Everybody's happy. But I, yeah, no, me- that's good. Yeah. I think, and I, you know, I read that book, um, hundred million dollar offer. And it's kind of like, that's what, that's what Alex Ramosi breaks down in that book is like having that irresistible offer. And it usually comes with like an irresistible you know, guarantee. And so that's what I have a lot of like my sales training in is like a guarantee. Like if you don't like it, I'll give you, if you don't like it within the first 30 days, I'll give you your money back. Like no, no harm, no foul. And uh, you know, and that's, there's a lot of it like value in that because, you know, you get to like do that. So let me ask you this, you know, you're a best, you're, you're a best selling author. I think it's wonderful. You've done the entrepreneurial journey. You help people write their books. I think that's great. What does it mean? Like, what's the definition of a I mean, Layton and we have oh. the airbase and it's like oh, yes. flying airplanes all the time. And I'm like, come on, people, it's after six. <laughs> no, 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 you're fine. So it's yeah, a yeah. job. <laughs> no, 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 it's fine. No, you're good. No worries. But like, what is the definition of a best-selling book? Like what, what makes a book best-selling? So I wish I could say it's the best written book, but it's not. That's right. not the <laughs> That makes sense. <laughs> the one is, is like it says in the title, the one that is most sold in a specific category. The mm, one that is okay. most sold is a, a, it's all a numbers game. Yeah. But because I have integrity and my clients do as well, yeah. we write books that deliver what the cover says. We write a book that will give you what they, they promise. So, and then of course we launch campaigns and we set it up in a way that we can guarantee a bestseller on launch day. Yeah, yeah. So, and then you can leverage that because that is something that you earn. That's something that you keep forever. So the book is not a bestseller for the rest of the life because it's, a, yeah. you know, it's all based on sales. Right. But once you become a bestselling author, nobody can take that away from you. You are a bestselling author of this book. Yeah. Okay. So, it's so, and I mean, I, I guess I kind of knew that, but I was just, you know, I've been doing this long enough, the podcast long enough where if I assume that I know the answer, it always bites me in the ass. So <laughs> like, I never, That's you know, what I, in life, isn't it? <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. I just never assume. So I'm like, you know, best selling author, it must just mean like numbers and sales. Right. But like, yeah. And it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't mean that we you wrote a book and you bought 2000 copies of the book and then you became a bestseller <laughs> that's a new york times bestseller another <laughs> yeah <laughs> for amazon it has to be one purchase per account or per household otherwise it doesn't count your family mm-hmm. don't count like your direct family i mean amazon is very protective 
and they have a very like heavy algorithm that yeah. they see that is your, you know, I mean, the sales count, but the reviews don't count per se. So, mm, I mean, you okay. can only buy one book per account. That's right, right, that's right, right, right. So it protects the integrity on the numbers. And when yeah. it comes to reviews, there's if the review is from your household or from somebody with the same last name or whatnot, it will probably not show because they know, oh yeah, that's their brother, sister, cousin, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. So okay. I mean, that way it keeps it clean. It keeps it clean. Makes sure don't they're all reliable. You know, yeah. Okay. So so on Amazon, it's um, yeah. So they so they're pretty strict on how they count best selling. Yes. Yes, mm, they are. That's cool. And uh, best selling, like uh, when you go on Amazon, you do the you do a ebook. I'm assuming you do a paperback and a hardcover, or do you just do paperback? We do, or ebook or um, so we do what the, our clients ask. They usually do. They usually go with ebook and paperback. And some of our clients um, ask for um, audible audibles, so audiobooks. Well, there you we go. Do that hey, as well. audiobooks are great. When I did my um, my when I did my book um, that I don't promote as much as I used to, but like when I wrote, like I, but I have a book out there and it's, you know, it's pretty good. <laughs> you know, I was like pretty good, but anyway, I knew that there had to be an audio version. I was like, because I'm a sales guy and if I'm going to listen to a sales book or if I'm going to read one, I'm probably going to listen to it first. And so right. yeah, I, I recorded the whole yeah, audio. Sales book then? Yeah. 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 Sales book. Okay. Yep. And, uh, and I was like, I I'm going to listen to the audio. And so that day, I think I recorded my audio book in like two days. <laughs> it was why I just like ran through. Well, you know, I got the setup, but I just ran through it. I was like, holy cow. But, it, you know, I thought it ended up being good. I thought it ended up uh, doing really well. But I'll tell you what, I gained a really, really uh, high respect for like authors because I wrote that book. It probably took me, it's probably about 20,000 words. I think it was just under 20,000 words um took me it was like uh i had set a goal for myself to write it in like four months and what That's was crazy yeah what was crazy about that though was like i was writing it it was all good and then like a month before i had told and i was like pre-ordering i had like pre-orders out like everybody was expecting it to be out in a month um i was like holy crap i'm writing this wrong and I, and I had this like epiphany that like, I needed to write the book this certain way. And I was like, now I have to rewrite this whole thing. It was, oh. it was wild, but, uh, but no, I thought it turned out, but like writing a book is hard. It's really tough. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. it is. And then yeah, so what people are, think that, oh, I just sit down and write. I'm like, no, you need to have a structure. You need to yep. have a purpose. You need to have a why. <laughs> Yeah. You, and like, and even the how to books, like mine was, mine was called sales genius walked you through the whole process of selling and then, and things like that. But like what even, even crazier, like even with those how to books or those technical books, right. Um, there has to be like a story, you know, it has right. to follow like a flow. Like, even mm -hmm. though you're teaching somebody you can get real textbooky. There's a fine line between a textbook <laughs> and like a, and a nice how to book, you know what I'm saying? Right. Right. Yeah, so, you need to put a story and the client or something that you experience because otherwise we're going to be poking our eyes out with the <laughs> head, you know, driving ourselves if we're listening, driving through. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes, yes. yes. <laughs> so how do you, when you're coaching somebody on writing a book, by the way, I think that writing a book is, is great uh, for all of the reasons that I, you know, that I tell people to do a podcast. Mm -hmm. So I have a podcast production agency. Oh, where, like I, nice. where I do like a done for you podcast. Like, wow. so not only do I That's like, awesome. you know, not only do I tell people like how to launch it, but then we'll go in with our cameras and our mics and, and we'll record everything and, and help you publish it. So, oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So it's actually pretty cool. So, but it's like, you know, I'm like book podcast, you know, so I do think it yourself, both uh, podcast. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. 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 It's okay. cool. Like it's cool. I mean, and, and it's a lot of fun. And I, I feel like it's similar to, to, a, a you know, writing a book because like, we can't just sit in front of a camera and, you know, and be really and dry. Like, no, it has to have yeah, a yeah, purpose. Yeah. And you got to have like some personality. And so that's what I was, that's the question I'm kind of leading to is like, 
you know, behind a camera, behind a mic, you got to have some personality. We got to like hearing you. We got to like, you know, the, the, the vibe we get. How do you put that into writing form? Like, how do you put that into an author so that it comes out in their book, like their personality and their spirit? Well, and it's, their... Um, I tell mm. them, write it in a way that if you will be telling a story to a friend or somebody when you're having coffee, mm. let's, this is what, how yeah. I do it. And of yeah. course, we have editors and proofreaders and storytellers that, that will shape it up, you know, shape that out to make sure it's done professionally in a, in a way, you know, way right. that people understand. Yeah. But I tell them just to write as they were telling their stories and and also with their ex own experiences. And, and by the way they're writing, they're going to do it in their own way and the personality is going to shine through. So yeah. by the way, by the end of the book, the reader is going to like them and get and already know them and they, yeah. you know they okay they're going to like him or not right 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 and you guarantee that people are going to like you but they're going to be able to see your personality and yeah. and see how you work and how you do things and then decide okay do I want to work with this person or not that's why i like to i know ghost writers they have a purpose behind yeah. it but i prefer have the first draft, uh, first draft, even though it's raw and it's ugly and it's a mess, I'd yeah. rather have that and then work from that because that's right. more authentic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and you know, the ghostwriters that I've talked to, that's how they work too. You know, they'll be like, you know, the one that I, one that I worked with, I, I not worked with, sorry, excuse me. I, I like interviewed and, and we're friends right. and, and talk and things like that. But, you know, he, I was asking him about his process and it, it was pretty similar. He was like, you know, it's hard to like write a book for somebody if we don't know them. And so they actually right. spend a lot of your fee when you hire a ghostwriter to write a 20,000, 30,000 word book. Um, a lot of that money goes to like, you know, them just sitting down with you. Like a lot of the time they just like get to know you, get to know right. your voice, you know, they, and then you give them an ugly first draft, you know, just write, right. He's like, they're just like, it doesn't have to say anything. It doesn't have to look pretty. Just write everything down that you're thinking, take a month, write everything down and then give it to me. And then we'll right. go from, then we'll start, you know, we'll go from there. And uh, which is like exactly, you know, which is what you're saying. And it's kind of, kind of, kind of like, you know, we can't edit it unless we know like, where we want this to go in your flow. Right. And, really... and I tell them, you all have the knowledge. I don't. Whatever it is right. that you do, that's your field of expertise, not mine. <laughs> right. So I'm going to go based on what you tell me. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, man, and that, and that just turns that that's a whole conversation by itself, right? Of like, that's difficult to like, know that. So how do you go through and like check you know, um, if the, if the author has left anything out, I mean, do you have some like, you know, so like it all, it all goes based on the outline, when we sit down okay. and, and, and decide the outline, we make sure that we cover the main, let's say 10 steps to whatever. Okay. Mm. Let's make sure that we cover the 10, 10 steps. And if there's different subjects, we can include them under one step and maybe there are minor things that, but they need to be there. But I, like I said, mm -hmm. I'm not an expert on let's say credit repair. So sure. I'm trusting you that you're giving me the right information. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> so we yeah. make sure that it's in a way that it becomes a book and it's pretty and it makes sense. But I'm not gonna, I mean, if you want me to do research yeah. to check, what you're giving me, the information you gave me, okay, I can maybe include that with a fee. You know, <laughs> right. really, you know it yeah, takes yeah. Cost money. Yeah, for sure. So did you, you know, when you were telling us your story, which is a beautiful story, um, I, you know, there was a point in there where, you know, you had mentioned that it wasn't your dream job at the time. Um, is this something that you thought you were always going to do? Like when you were, you know, when you were figuring out what you were going to do, you telling people what oh, you were no. going to do when you're older. I mean, I have ADHD. So I had like five <laughs> careers in mind. When I was growing up, I told my mom I wanted to be an a air flight attendant. Oh, but yeah. That's great. Back, but I, I was like, I'm going to travel the world. But then back then in the 90s, you know, I was like, I was not high enough. You know, you have to be oh. so high. And I was like, oh, fine. like tall? 
Yeah. Whoa, that's crazy. I know that was back in the day. Now with discrimination and stuff, but not <laughs> <do> that. <laughs> but then I also wanted to be a reporter for CNN, and I was like, I'm gonna go to the war zones and I'm gonna investigate and report the truth. And so, like I said, I have a yeah. <laughs> wanted to do all of these things, but you now I ended up getting married, having kids. Yeah. You know, coming to America, coming to Utah, and then yeah. getting divorced, and I was like, oh, whoa, this is not what I planned. Yeah. So, <laughs> so you just kind of like when when it got to that point, then you were just like, it's just funny how life opens up. You know what I mean? Like you just take an opportunity, and uh, and and. Well, it also like, it kind of it kind of sort of works out for me because I help people yeah. tell their tell their stories. You know. Right. You know, yeah. Like, no. It's no. I and I mean, like I said, I think I think a book is a great way to do that. You know, and um. Uh, you know, like, cause I did it. I was like, Oh, write a book, right? Like get your content out there. If anything, I'm not mad about writing my book because it helped me organize my thoughts. Like it helped me get really clear. Like I, dude, I have, you know what I mean? I have like, um, I have like five or six, like how to write books, <laughs> you know, reading, I'm trying to read. And then, right, you know, and then right. in every book, you know, what's the first chapter of every, how to write book, like just start writing, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> just start yeah. like, you just need to write, you know? And then that's so true. Like, um, you just got to start doing Please, it. And even for myself, like I'm writing a book now and I'm like, Susanna, just sit down and write it. You know, I have yeah, to tell myself yeah, yeah, yeah. that because it's, Oh, no, I have no, no. the outline. I, have... I started all the chapters, but I now I need to go and refine it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know if I the told first you this. draft of my own book. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And I don't know if I told you this, but I have ADHD too. Oh, okay. Like okay. Mad ADHD. So yes, like I, you know, these, are, you know, we were talking about what did you want to do? We get older. I got a, like five of these notebooks. That's like <laughs> that's what I wanted to do. Well, like... <laughs> I started so many businesses. Like I have so much research done for yeah. so many businesses and I have it on my emails. <laughs> I have like different folders. And then sometimes I go, I was like, I need to clean that up. When Remember when I wanted to start this business? Oh yeah. And remember <laughs> when I started that business? Yeah. But That's you know cool, what? Though. That helps me, you know? And, yeah. and I, I, don't, I don't feel ashamed about that because when I help yeah. entrepreneurs, they all come from different areas or fields. And I am able to provide feedback because I know something about the field. You know, yeah. I didn't work in, I don't know, in that specific field, I have some knowledge about some background that can be beneficial. So I'm like, hey, well, yeah, I think, by the way, like, that's perfect. That's what I do as well. Like, so when I go help people with their podcast, or I help people with their sales process, they're like, you have a really diverse background. How are you going to help me? And I'm like, that's why I'm going to help you. Mm -hmm, because exactly. like, You've been in your field so long, which is great. There's nothing wrong with that, but mm -hmm. you know, nothing helps better than a fresh set of eyes, you know, and diverse eyes. Like, Hey, have you ever, you know, this industry does it this way. Have you ever tried that? Well, no. I mean, like, well, what's it going to hurt it? You know, we waste right. two days. Right. You, you called me cause you've been wasting five years. So like <laughs> <laughs> we got two days, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? We got a couple of days. It yeah out. it's like when i talk to people and they're like yeah i've been waiting, wanting to read a book and write a book for the last 10 years i'm like okay let's start it now yeah 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are you gonna talk about it or be about it i love that yeah we're just gonna be like i'll send you the invoice right now yeah 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 so, right exactly <laughs> cash or card just kidding um no i love that because um you know when you've helped so you've helped others become bestsellers i, I love that um and I, and I just think that there's a lot of beauty and just, you know, just that way of branding yourself, whether it's a book or, you know, just helping people tell their stories because, you know, that's the one unique thing about America, right? Is like, and, and, and I look, I haven't traveled around the world, so I could be blowing smoke right now. But in my opinion, like I've, I've talked to people from other countries and like one of the weird things that people do in America, at least that my friends have told me is like, asking people like what's your story so like we'll do that right like new conversation in america will be like so tell me like tell me your story tell me about you like that's a weird question to ask some in some other places right like i have friends from right. russia i have friends from uh you know other eastern european countries and, and i know they can maybe punch you in the face or yeah, yeah yeah i'm so like tell me your story they're like what do you want to like who's asking right yeah um, what part of my story wait what yeah, yeah 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 and so i just think that's a really unique part of america of like 
helping people tell their stories and like realizing that everybody has one and how that goes. Right. And so, um, you know, how, how do you go about like drawing that story out of people? Like, you know, because, you know, you do memoirs, like I think, you know, memoirs and and but even the how to's like, you know, how do you help somebody like craft their story? Well, it, it all starts with the why, why did you want to write a book? Yeah. And who are you writing it for? And that yeah. opens up, you know, these the floodgates because there's a reason why they want to write the book. They want to help. They see a need that is not being fulfilled in some aspect in their field, and they want to fulfill mm-hmm. that need. And who are you serving? Okay, these are the people, and why? And then you know, it can that it opens up, you know, so the door so so much information, and then you get the story from that. Mm-hmm. And there's a reason help- why they want to help people like that. You know, I want to help in entrepreneurs because I think entrepreneurs are going to change the world. You know, yeah. I don't, and uh, we're not going to talk about politics or religion sure, or sure, anything, sure. <laughs> but I think entrepreneurs are the ones that are seeing a problem, are seeing a need, and they're taking action to solve that need. Yes, of yeah. course, they want to make money, they want to make ends meet, they want to make a living. Yeah but they want to change the world with whatever it is that they do. So that's why I have a passion for this. I love hearing their stories. I love learning about why they do what they do. Yeah, no. And I, like I said, you know, and I tell people that all the time, I'm like, you know, I, I try to help people live their, live their passion, tell their story and, and become a brand, you know, brand themselves. Um, And for better or for worse, we live in a capitalistic society. So if you want me to do that for you, I'm going to need some dough. (laughs) <laughs> well i mean you need i need to pay rent i don't know about you yeah but, exactly you know, right. yeah, yeah, yeah i cannot help oh. you if i am stressed out about right how i'm gonna pay my bill hey you know? i had a conversation i do this fun thing um every once in a while i've done it twice but uh we there only was like, done a fun thing twice right exactly to- this one yeah. fun thing twice we did a, <laughs> it was like a shark tank kind of a shark tank okay. competition but for like teenagers so they're put in oh. through this through this boot camp where they they get an idea they start doing it and then they start like selling it and then at the end they have like a pitch and it's cool and they, there's a little bit of prize money and anyway but I, there was the first time i did it there was a young woman who uh had a non-profit organization mm-hmm. And I was on the panel asking questions and I was like, how do you make money? Like, where does the extra money go? She's like, we donate all of it. And I was like, dang. So, you know, we got to talk afterwards and she, and I, she was like, well, how do I, you know, take my business to the next level? And I was like, you're a nonprofit. Like I have a little bit of background in accounting for nonprofits, but I'm like, you know, um, you have got to pay yourself. I'm like, does the, you know, the red, the CEO of the red cross doesn't have a second job. <laughs> right exactly you know what I mean? like we you know the more you know the the more that you can sustain yourself you can help other people and and that's a tough lesson for some people to learn especially when you're coming in that like i just want to help people i'm like yeah you just want to help people but that doesn't last very long you know if you can't eat you know you can't no eat. no yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. and again like we say you know it and that goes back with pricing you know i want to help people but sure. at the same time i need to pay <laughs> well, and like it paid, yeah like get paid for your knowledge too like look do you want to spend the next year figuring out how to write a bestseller or do you want a shortcut you know <laughs> and, you- and, and as somebody asked me oh well your prices are expensive i mean you need to create a cheap version like sure no no like, like a like, course or something like and i was like well my cheap option is the five thousand dollar one because i have to work to do all of those things <laughs> now if you want a diy option yes i have that one for 2.99 yeah but at that point at that point you need to find your own um editor you know your own designers your own formatting people you know i mean Mm -hmm. you need to Mm -hmm. learn how to do everything yourself i mean i tell you the you know it's step by step yeah how to do it but yeah but but yeah right no i'm for real you know for real though like, uh, yeah, you're not going to hear any flack from me. I just think that's a beautiful story. I think, I think your unique experience, um, there's just a really fun story in there for people. That's like, if you know, cause I like what you said too. I, you know, I've heard that a couple of times this week on, on a few podcasts, uh, that I've, that I've interviewed and that I've been a part of producing, but you know, it's just like, like, that's a common theme is, is, uh, 
you know, how did you start your business? Well, I saw this lady, you know, I saw this person doing this and I was like, you can do that. And they're like, yeah. And I'm, and the, the, you know, then the, then they're telling me the story and they'll say something like that, right? Like they're not different than me. Right. right. They got, you know, they got what, they got the same things as me. Why can't I do that? And then they go out and do it. And you're like, that's it. That's all you need. Right. And well, it's not I know, tell people, bad. Way, I, have, right? I have a GD. I've never went to college. English is my second language. Yeah. If I can do these, you know, <laughs> you can fair. do it too. That's fair. And the challenges that you shared in your story, right? Like your your son's diagnosis, your you know the divorce, and like finding try to trying to find your way. Like those are all real hardships that I think people just like, you know, we get caught up in this in this idea that like, well, they're they're different than me, and I'm like, well, are we though? Are we that different? Because I don't think so. I feel like we're all, you know, there's that. I have a quote. Uh, on my phone that says like you're special and unique just like everybody else and uh and <laughs> that's what i think right <laughs> like <laughs> like we can all get this you know it's just like some people have different hurdles but i think we all have hurdles. yeah that's right? for sure that's for sure and i i don't know i just feel like i mean i'm not perfect i have days when i sure. just want to you know cuddle you just hide <laughs> under the blankets and be like forget it you mm -hmm. know so it doesn't make me any less special or anything because I mean I just get up and do it the next day or <laughs> right. or take a two hour nap and do it you know <laughs> we, all yeah. have, we all have weaknesses and things that we need to work on and and, and mm -hmm. flaws but it doesn't mean that you that we can do it so if, if right. I can do it like I said other people can do it too and then, and then, and that's it. Well, um, Susanna, I really appreciate your time. I, this was such a fun podcast for me. I really, I really loved it. Um, if somebody wants to get a hold of you for your services and to and to start writing their book, okay. how how do they get a hold of you? So my website is uh, us. So it spells S U S A N A Perez P E R E Z dot U S there's a contact form that you just fill out telling me, you know, you're a little bit of your background, where you want to write a book and things like that. And I will contact you to set up a Zoom call so we can discuss if, if I am the best, um, you know, the best mm -hmm. person to help you with this. I don't do fiction. I could, you know, <laughs> if you want to write fiction, I can send you to somebody else uh, to do that. I don't do these books i can send you to somebody else for that too <laughs> but you know i will if i can i'll let you know that i can help you if i can't i will let you know as well you yeah know? that's cool that's great well thank you so much Susanna. thanks for joining me of course my pleasure <laughs>